Hello everyone, this is Joseph K. Welcome back to more Let's Play Tales of the Abyss 100%. In the last part, Ion sacrificed himself to save Tyr. And he read the seventh phone stone. He read this planet score and he told Luke that that's one of many futures for Luke. Basically saying that not everything is set in stone. And then, we got back to the Tatlin's room, and Arietta is none too pleased. She challenged Annis to a duel, and Annis ran off. After some uh, heated words with her mom and dad. But uh, let's see if we can find her. I'm sure Annis will be safe as long as she is with you. Please, please take care of Annis. But before we go to Annis, we want to talk to all of our party members. You'll have to excuse me. I'll leave searching for Annis to the rest of you. Sometimes people want to be alone. I'd like to leave her to herself, personally. And besides, there's something I'm more worried about than Annis. Yulia may in fact have truly read a score of destruction. If that's so, then what Van is doing may actually make a certain amount of sense. We're going to talk to all of our party members before we talk to Annis. And then we're going to do one side quest because next week we will be back to doing some side quest stuff. Uh, some of the stuff I've already done and some I've not done. But I will uh, play ahead for that. But you know, we got skits again, of course. I gotta move my uh, thing out the way so I can see how many skits we're supposed to get. Anyways. Think of Annis. Annis, where'd she go? I think I know how she feels. She's being crushed by the weight of what she's done. She's blaming herself for everything. If we leave her alone, it'll destroy her. We've got to fight her. All right, now let's go talk to Tyr, who's right here. If Annis is to blame, then so am I. Aya may have agreed to read the planet score as Moe's ordered him to, in order to clear the miasma from my body. I'm disgusted at my own powerlessness. All right, let's head down the stairs. Now, actually, when I was doing this before, like the very first time I was playing this, I could not for the life of me find Natalia, but Natalia is actually in Ion's office. And this next scene uh, breaks my heart, too. When Sieg passed away, Ion cried. I think Ion really didn't want to die, and Annis probably knows that. I feel so sorry for her. She had to choose between her parents and Ion. Looks like Tyr's the only one that says something different, though, after you, if you talk to her a second time. That's fascinating. And the reason why this next scene breaks my heart, well, you'll see. I'm sure it'll become apparent once the scene happens. But yeah, we gotta do a duel to the death with Arietta. I'm hoping this episode can be stretched a bit. Because there really is not much to do before that. You better cheer Annis up once we fight her. I actually didn't see Guy when I was taking my notes for this. But, uh... I... I can't do it. I've gotten a lot better, but because of my little phobia, Annis will wind up worrying about me instead of herself. And 
Anis is actually in here. I'm going to save you the hassle of going around the whole entire cathedral to find her. Alright, this scene is going to break my heart, so here we go. So, you were out here. Look, everyone's worried about you. Oliver and Pamela, too. Don't talk to me about them. Come on, Annis, you couldn't have done anything differently. He was holding your parents hostage. No! I was lying to Ion from the very start. Mose ordered me to report everything Ion did. Trying to stop the war, spending time with you guys, I reported it all. Annis, that's all. Listen! The attack on the Tartarus, the ambushes by the six god generals, it's all my fault! Wasn't that all because you were worried for your parents? Papa's pretty gullible, right? When I was really little, he got scammed for a ton of money and got deep into debt. Mose bailed him out. Since then, my parents have worked for the cathedral without pay. I... I couldn't disobey his orders. I know. I hated it all along. Ion was so trusting, it really hurt to have to lie. Yeah. But I... I loved Mama and Papa. Annis, you did the right thing. It wasn't right. It wasn't right at all. I... I... I killed Ion! Poor Ion. It's all my fault. And now he's dead. Annis, here, take this. I picked it up in Mount Zalejo. It's a fragment of the phone stone from the score Ion read. Ion's phone stone. And that's why this scene breaks my heart. I absolutely love Annis, except for when she's being a weird, creepy little lolicon. But outside of that... I love this kid. She's she's a, she's a fantastic character. Her voice actress is phenomenal, and she's high on my favorite characters. And it breaks my heart to see her crying because of all this. What are you going to do now? Do you want to stay in Doth? No, I'm going with you. I think that Ion would have wanted to help you if he had lived. Thanks. Let's head back and see everyone then. Still, though, I don't like how the group just... Oh, yeah, you had no choice. Let's accept that you killed Ion. And it I don't... appears you've calmed down a bit. I don't know if it was just me, but it kind of looks like he's holding her hand as they come out of the chapel. Let me know what you think. I don't know if you've ever noticed that before, but I was watching the scene when I was taking the notes. I'm like, wait a minute, is he holding her hand? That is just so sweet. Yes, Colonel. I'd like to stay with you all and think about what I should do from here on. Stay strong, Annis. What should we do next? It would be hard to pursue the score further until the order has been restructured. And we don't have the first clue about where to search for Ash. I... I'd like to put Ion's final reading of the score to use. You mean that bit about finding out how to clear away the miasma in Belkin? You're right. Ion sacrificed everything to give us that clue. I agree. That's all we have to go on at the moment. That said, we will have to deal with this issue eventually. We stopped Van's vision of a world where the score can't be read. But it's not as if we fully support the score either. Once things have settled down, we should hold a summit about what to do with the score. Yes, you're right. <clears throat> Eric get a skit. Regret. Hi, Ann. It's all my fault. I'm sorry. You'd only lived a few years. Ugh. I should have... I should have died instead. <sighs> I don't like seeing I, Anna sad. Anyways, uh... <laughs> Before I get even more emotional, let's keep on going. Hey, don't don't hate me because I get emotional over characters in games. 
<coughs> that way in games and books and any <coughs> form of media, really. I ah, odd. Why do he ha why did he go read the planet score? <coughs> Because Annis' parents were being held hostage, or he's quite intelligent. He knew we would try to rescue him, so he may have chosen his own death in order to remove the miasma from Tyr's body. If Tyr knew that, I think she knows. She's looked depressed ever since we got back, just like Annis. Ion, why'd you go and throw your life away, you idiot? Luke, you're blaming the wrong person. It was most who forced Ion to make that choice. Yeah, Mose, you're going to pay for this. And I can't wait to make that motherfucker pay. All right. Now let's go and uh, restock on supplies. And let's get another skit. So we rejected the score, but now we have to rely on the score Ion read to us. Ion said to treat the score as one possibility out of many. We aren't being forced to obey it. He wants it to be used for the future of the world. Not as an unbreakable rule, but as a guide in making decisions. Ion's score is always accurate. Luke, are you saying you don't trust it, or you don't want to trust it? No, I'm not. I know it's accurate. That's why I'm following it. But, if this does succeed... You may be tempted to follow the score again in the future, right? How long can we go on say just this once before it becomes a habit? Very good question. So you're going to ignore Ion's score? Please, you can't do that. I won't. I'm just frustrated with this gap between ideals and reality. Yeah, I mean, Jade makes a valid point. We say we're going to listen to it just this once, and then we do it again, because it was right. And that's how we get the cult following. But anyways, I'm actually here to buy some stuff. I'm going to stock up on a lot of uh, things I need. Actually, I'm going to do uh, that instead. Good on apple gels, good on lemon gels. Uh, let's get a few more life bottles. And let's restock on all of our magic lenses. Now, this episode is going to be very short. Uh, I only have one side quest I'm going to do. And that'll be over very soon. Uh, let's see here. Oh, we're already fully st uh, restocked on our health and all that stuff. Good. Well, now that we got that out of the way, let's uh, put Annis back in. She's kind of uh, behind because she wasn't with us the last part of the game. And let's buy some food. Now that we have a little bit of gall to play with, it will always be smart to restock on food pretty much whatever we can. Uh, did I talk to her? Yeah, I did talk to her. It's like no one cares that he's, uh, dead. How can we eliminate this miasma? It may not have an immediate effect, but it is worrying. Now, if I'm not mistaken, we want to go to Doth Bay? Yeah, okay. So, 
Let's go to Doth Bay, uh, just to pad the video out a little bit longer. I'm gonna fly there directly instead of, you know, fast traveling. Oh, well. I could go and get... A skit. Two different people. Arietta was truly fond of Ion, wasn't she? As was Annis, but the two of them were thinking of different Ions. Ion was a replica, after all. The Ion that Arietta liked is long gone. How sad that those misunderstandings have led to a duel. The same thing could easily have happened with Luke and Ash. Natalia is here, huh? Yeah, it could have. I know it is by doing, but Fabacry truly is an unethical technology. So, like I said, we got a lot of side quests to do coming up. And I actually haven't played that far. I was thinking I was going to have to play a little bit ahead just to get this episode out. But, I did it. For that, I'm grateful. I will at least have enough episodes to get us through the week. And the next week, between today, which is Thursday, and Monday, when the next episode comes out, because I should be able to do that now, I'm going to uh, play ahead and try to see the best way to do all these side quests. What side quests I can do. All that great stuff. But anyways, we want to come here. We're going to get a seat. <clears throat> please, General Steele, please return once more to our kingdom. General Goldberg, what are you doing here? Princess Natalia. This man is my archery instructor. I will not allow you to mistreat him. I would not dream of it. We have come here searching for General Steele under his majesty's orders. General Steele? Do you mean the blind General Steele? Who's that? A Kimbloskan hero who devastated the Malkuth army at the Battle of Rotelro. General Goldberg, I will not return to Kimbloska. But his majesty is concerned for your health. After I lost my sight, I reevaluated my life. I bid farewell to the me that could only live through slaughter. Please convey this message to his majesty. The steel who once taught archery is dead. Understood. I'm sorry to hear that. General Steel. No, Master. Are you truly blind? You don't appear that way at all. It's true, I can see nothing, but I can sense your highness's presence. As well as that of the necromancer who robbed me of my sight. I thought so. That was your first battle and my last. Yes, but I will not apologize. Nor would I. That is how it is on the battlefield. Your highness, I will now give you my final lesson. Yes, master. Of the arts I use, this one is the most suited for your highness. S suited for me? You have learned well, your highness. My phonic art, healing force, is now yours. This is a healing art, and it is truly worthy of you, your highness. Please use that phonic art to heal your companions. I will use this art for the sake of my friends and for the sake of the people of my country. And Natalia learns healing force. Please use that phonic art to lead the people of Kiblaska to peace. The people of Kiblaska. Necromancer, when the chaos of this conflict ends, do you believe the world will find peace? No, it may become peaceful temporarily, but it won't last long. What are you talking about? Kiblaska and Malku signed the peace treaty. The Order of Lorelei is on the verge of collapse. It holds the potential to spark a new conflict. Unlike in fairy tales, the world doesn't live happily ever after. But, no, the Necromancer is correct. 
The history of mankind is the history of war. Peace does not last. That is precisely why it is precious. Yeah, we have to do everything we can to make sure peace lasts as long as it can. What's really important is what happens after we've achieved peace. Indeed. Therefore, your highness, after this conflict ends, I hope you will devote yourself to the cause of extending the peace for as long as you possibly can. Please become a leader who heals the wounds of war and brings peace to the land. As long as I possess this art, I will not forget your words. I will do everything in my power. But before that, we have to calm the chaos in the world. Yes, I wish you the best, your highness. Thank you, General Steele. No, Master. You actually need to do that, like, as soon as you leave Dot. Uh, it has a very short cutoff point, and I don't know where the cutoff point is. So, please do take care to do that after you finish up everything at Doth, after Aya dies, after Anna's rejoins your party, and after you agree to do the duel with uh, Arietta. Let's talk to these uh, characters here, and we will be done. What is it with this miasma? I don't even feel like going to Doth. Hey, the whole world's purple. But they say it's not good to think about it too much. I tried to escape the miasma by entering the storehouse, but it didn't make any difference. But it does seem to have an immediate effect. It does seem to have an immediate effect, so I'm not that worried. Regardless of the miasma, the score would not be read. The Order of Lorelei is currently undergoing reformation. But how many more side quests do we have? And can we finally get some treasures that we couldn't get before because of inhibitions? Find out next time on Let's Play Tales of the Abyss 100%. And this is Joseph K. Signing out. Y'all have a great day and keep it real. Later.